Hi there, Colleen. So I'll just do a quick little walk around on the uh, Denali Canyon that we have with the diesel engine in it. Kind of go over all the options and try to give you as much detail as I can there. Also introduce myself. Hi there, I'm Travis. It's always nice to put a face behind the mask of behind you're dealing with or who you're dealing with there. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll uh, get started on the truck here. So it's got that nice, aggressive, bold Denali front end. It's got the LED daytime running lights, projection headlights, uh, tow hooks there if you ever are in need of getting a little tug out of the ditch or giving somebody else a little tug on, out of the ditch. It's got 20 inch rims on it, running boards already. In uh, these guys here, they put the rear wheelhouse liners, which is kind of a nice touch. I know you don't do much gravel driving, but if you ever are, it keeps that road noise down, that pinging and that sort of thing. Pork assist sensors on the rear, uh, locking tailgate with the key fob, and also an HD backup camera, so really good visibility there. Has a tow package already, so it's got your hitch and wiring harness if you're ever in need. Nice light tailgate, it's the easy lower, so it's not going to slam down on you when you're lowering it there. Four tie down points, one in each corner, and then the spray and box liner already as well. Real light, nice and easy to, to close. It's got the sliding rear window. The back seat here. So it's got a couple of USB ports and then as well as a 12 volt plug in as well. And then these seats do lift up. Sorry about the camera there. Give you a nice little storage area underneath there. Then they can also uh, lower down this way. So if you're looking for more of a flat loading surface to put suitcases and that sort of thing, you can fold both these down and have a flat surface across there. Armrest with cup holders. That nice Denali stitching all the way through. Got your power windows, of course, power locks, power mirrors. Let's get the key in here so I can turn the air down. I just got it started with the remote start. Try to tone down the noise a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. Um, so heated steering wheel, forward collision alert. It has uh, lane departure warning, heated and cooled seats, uh, remote start, uh, wireless charge pad for your cell phone as long as the cell phone is compatible. A little button here to turn on your cargo lights, one to turn off your park assist sensors and then all the diesels come with a little exhaust brake as well. All your climate controls here. Uh, and then up here it's got your built in navigation. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which I'm not sure if you use in your Equinox or not, but basically when you plug in with your cell phone, any compatible apps will come up right on the touch screen there. Bluetooth capable. And then all your four wheel drive controls down here, as well as uh, trailer brake control uh, right beside the steering wheel there. Sunglass holder up top here. And then, of course, that nice wood trim. A little dark, hard to see there, but uh, it is an open-pore design, so it doesn't have no plastic look to it. But uh, let me know what you think there, Colleen.